You two are the two people I don't <laughs> want to deliver this forecast to. Oh, we got no. a few in the building that are real warm lovers. And All right, well. Colbell's <laughs> another I'm one. just going to ignore you. You know, or at least his wife is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just cover your ears for a while. We'll All come right. back around to it. Not a good looking day today. A lot of showers, a lot of clouds, and cool temperatures. The showers increasing over the last couple of hours, and it is, of course, snow into Arista County and far northern Maine, where they're going to pick up an inch or two of accumulation there it won't last all that long but still not great temperatures in the 40s 30s in the mountains and across northern maine where it is snowing uh we really aren't getting any warmer than this we stay pr pretty flat overnight tonight in the upper 40s to maybe around 50 the showers continue to move through and tomorrow morning you're going to wake up and think well this is kind of the same day it'll start with clouds and showers but quickly we clear out by late morning afternoon looks good good i mean it's not that warm but there's some sun and that'll be nice temperatures right around 50 degrees uh, on on uh, wednesday it's it's an okay day. It's a mixture of sun and clouds becoming more cloudy later in the afternoon. Temperatures again, only in the mid to upper 40s, not all that mild. And then Thursday, we start with some sun. We do cloud up though on Thursday afternoon, which brings us to this, a storm that'll move in Thursday night and into Friday. We'd been watching this last week and the indications were there that we could get some mixed precipitation. Let's talk about what this is. This storm is actually a continental storm at first, and it comes in uh, kind of from an unusually more westerly track, but we've got this ridge of high pressure supplying cold air to begin with. So it's not all that warm at the onset of this storm on Thursday night. That high supplies even colder air on Friday. The low stays far enough south as to not bring enough warm air in on its own, and we end up with most likely some snow all the way to the coastline on Friday through through the day Friday and then this low may get stronger in the Gulf and give us some snapback snow on Friday afternoon before it moves out on Friday night. And so the real question with this system isn't really is it cold enough to snow? It is. It's is it going to be us or is it going to be Massachusetts? Because it's a matter of where this low ends up tracking and right now it's centered right over central and southern Maine. If the low tracks farther south, as had been previously indicated by a couple of models, now you're looking at this down there, and we just end up with clouds. So we'll have to keep an eye on it at this point, though. I would pencil in some snow on Friday, and it would be accumulating. Marine forecast sees around 2 to 3 feet. Water temperature 53 dropped a couple of degrees there over the last few days. So I got two snowflakes and nothing else there on Friday. So Halloween could be interesting. Chilly, uh, windy. Temperatures only around 40 for a high. So as is usually a good idea, you want your Halloween costume to be warm in Maine because you never know what you're going to get. It is also fall back on Saturday night, so we get an extra hour of sleep, which is kind of cool around Halloween if it weren't for the other snow and all that going on. Partly cloudy on Sunday, right around 50 degrees. If we have snow, we would melt it. Guys, of course, an issue here is if it does snow and accumulating amounts to the coast, we still have a lot of leaves. So we would be looking at power outages that would be widespread. Oh, so. I hadn't really thought about that one. Yeah, so the fun keeps coming. We'll see uh, <laughs> tomorrow. We should have a better idea whether it's us or Massachusetts that gets to have the fun there on Friday. All right. All right. You know what? I, I, I'm willing to share. You, yeah, and somebody said on my Facebook, let Massachusetts, or Massachusetts, they can have it. I said, that's actually Maine's official motto. <laughs> <laughs>